You got the strong me love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back. So as you can see from the titles down below, we're gonna have a listen. We're gonna have a real talk. I'm sitting at home and I'm thinking, you know, I had a conversation with a good friend of mine um, um, last night, okay, and we were talking about, you know, social media and social media influencers and social media people and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And we got to talking about trolls because um, if you're on social media, <laughs> If you're on YouTube, one of the things you're going to come across at some point in your life, especially the bigger you get or the more following you uh, receive, is uh, trolls. Yeah. Trolls, according to me. Okay, listen, we're going to start this video because it doesn't even have an intro or anything. We're just going to drink our tea and we're going to do the things that are going to make us talk about this video. Okay. I'm going to have a video about clapback. Okay, oh wow, okay. Uh, one of the reasons why I got off of social media for a while was because of things like trolls. People like trolls. Um, trolls, in case you're not familiar with this term, are people who are very trigger happy. So they trigger happy behind their phones, they trigger happy behind their laptops, and often use avatars that are not their real face. So these are avatars that are often um, just go like an egg or like a retiring baton. Yeah, something like that's like an egg or a cartoon character or whatever, but definitely something that's just not them nor their face. So, so one of the reasons why I took a little bit of a break from social media was because of trolls yes because of trolls um, if you follow me or my sister on our channel uh, channels on our respective channels you will know that me and my sister have especially my sister and recently like about a month ago me have gone through a lot in terms of trolls now Trolls are people who sit behind their phones or their laptops and, you know, they're just very trigger happy. And the only reason why they will go onto your channel is just to talk some shit. They don't know you. I'm sorry. I might swear in this video. <clears throat> so trolls are those kinds of people that'll just pop up on your channel because they just feel like talking shit. They want to be negative. They want to say bad things. They just really have nothing positive to say, but they are camping on your life. They are camping. Corre, they, they, everything. They know your life better than you do with the purpose of hurting you or I'm talking about trolls in social media. Look, there's trolls in politics. There's trolls in religion. There's trolls in whatever. Um, you know, when I was reading up about trolls and whatever, there's, there's, there's trolls who start trolling because they want you to see a different side to things. And then there's social media trolls. The people that will troll you on on uh, YouTube or they'll troll you on wherever and just want to talk shit. But they ain't shame. There's a lot of them. In the recent times, uh, my sister and I have been trolled quite a bit by people obviously we do not know. Eggs. I call them eggs because their avatars are often eggs. So, eggs. Some of them are brazen and brave enough to have their face on there and whatever. And I respect those people above, way above uh, uh, other, you know, the eggs. Okay. Um, so my sister and I, yeah, if you follow our channels and our social media platforms, you will know that my sister, starting with my sister, we went through a very, very tough time when it comes to trolls. And um, my, in my sister's case, it was a little bit worse. You know what the thing is? When you start doing something like YouTube and maybe your family says to you, girl, you're so good with makeup and whatever, whatever. Why don't you try doing YouTube? You know, go on to YouTube, do the things that make, you know, for the pods to be done. You're really good at this, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you try that? And you're like, hmm, okay. Yeah, maybe I can, you know, you've got the resources to do it and you're thinking, okay, maybe, yeah, this, this could actually be a thing, right? Wrong. No, I'm kidding. 
you start YouTube with the whole notion that you know you're excited about it people are going to get to know you a little bit more about you about your life about this top used to fit me so well now it's huge um <clears throat> you know people are going to know about you they're going to know a little bit about you about your life about who you are and you're going to really just introduce yourself to the world <laughs> You forget that social media, this was me, I was one of those people. You forget that social media has a bad side as well. In my sister's case, it got really, really bad to such a point where, um, you know, accounts were created. What I can't seem to fathom about trolls is that you don't know me from a bar of soap. Yet you feel entitled to my life, so entitled to my life that you feel like you have, you need to have commentary on it. Only perhaps as us. But it's fine. There's something like constructive criticism. There's something like somebody hitting you up and saying, you know, girl, I think if you did so and so and so, you know, with your background or do whatever, whatever, or maybe try and get the camera to focus this way, this way, or get this lens. That's constructive criticism. I can respect that. But now, if you're going to try and come up to me, my attitudinal behavior, and just act, act all crazy up on my channel and say, jeez, and say um, shocking things on my, on my channel, on my social media platforms, then only perhaps, maybe. Um, so in my case, it first started when I really got my real experience of trolling. It literally first started with the with my most watched video, which is his wife texted me at 1 a.m. I knew with a video that's gonna get that much traction, I am bound, 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 bound to get people who are not gonna like it or people who are gonna talk shit and man, <laughs> did they talk shit? And I was just like, okay, no, it's fine. I mean, you are entitled to your opinion, you are entitled to say or do or whatever, you, you know, to say whatever you want, but come correct when you come to certain channels, and mine is one of them. If you expect that you're going to say whatever you want to say and blah, 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 you, you must expect that I might just clap back, right? I might just clap back. But the downside to all of this, I mean, with that video, I got so many negative comments that... Okay, they weren't ridiculously many, but, you know, I picked them up. I got negative comments about, uh, oh, no, she's lying. She knew for a fact that that man was married and this and that and the other. Oh, if I knew for a fact, thank you, first and foremost, for giving me the headlines about my life, about the fact that you knew that I knew. Thank you. Uh, but also, really? So if I knew about it, why would I sit in front of a camera and do a video about it? Am I trying to, really trying to get subscribers that much that I would sit in front of a camera and do a video about it? Please, 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 please. What then happened is, you know, you would get the comments like, oh, she knew, she's lying. She knew very well that that man was married, blah, 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 blah. And you know, I took those with a pinch of salt. I was like, okay, no, you know what? I know that this was bound to happen. I knew that something like this was bound to happen. So. It's fine. It's okay. Continue with your life. But that then happened. And then you get comments about people like, you know, talking about your brows. Like some girl was like, um, uh, ooh, I'm really trying to focus on your video. <laughs> it is, it's funny. Sometimes it's funny. I'm really trying to focus on your video, but I can't get over how your brows look. Your brows are badly done or something like that. And sometimes you need to respond very smartly to a troll, okay? You need to respond and say, well, thanks for paying attention to my brows, but we both know the purpose of the video is not my brows. So if you're not here to listen to the story, then you're more than welcome to click out and just go away. Look, the thing about it is we can sit here all day and say that, you know what, don't have trolls, don't get affected by trolls, don't blah, 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 it's not a big deal. It is a big deal. Trolls are very, very hurtful. And it's very, very hard for me to try and come at somebody who has an egg for an avatar. Like, wh how, what am I going to say to you? What am I going to... What in the world am I going to say to you that's going to be of any purpose? Because you're hiding behind a, a computer screen. But trolls forget that 
we human too. So half the things that you say could be extremely, extremely, I can't see this. Half the things you say could be very, very extremely hurtful. They probably are 110% of the time. And y'all forget that it's fine. I'm not, I'm not doing this so that, um, I'm doing this because I love it. I'm not doing it to get any approval from anyone, right? But I am human and what you are saying to me is very hurtful. The problem is people tend to forget Uguti. What comes with this process is the fact that if you're going to attack me like this, remember, I'm also human. Remember, I, I can also come back and clap back if I wanted to. But I think we try to keep really straight faces as people who are on social media. We try to keep straight faces and we try to not let um, some things affect us or outwardly affect us because perception is really everything perception is everything but there are instances where trolls can get a little bit out of hand and then the things that they say are extremely hurtful and then they forget you know so word of advice to someone who is new to youtube and is very excited about their youtube career and they're excited and they they really you know they want to they want to do the things that will make for the pods to be done and blah 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 do it girl do it girl or guy, live your best life, blah, blah, blah. But one thing that we always, always, always seem to remember only in hindsight is that there are people who are not going to like you or your content. They're not going to like you because, uh, because they are not you. They're not going to like you because of what you have. They're not going to like you because of the presence that you have on your social media. They're not going to like you because you're you. Okay, and the sad thing about that is that that is not something we can control. I am here, I'm sharing my content with you guys, I'm loving sharing my content with you guys, but that's all I can do. So if somebody's gonna come back to me and say, Ooh, when I mm, tong, mm, eng, tong, eng, eng, and then what? You know, like, okay, we're gonna keep it moving. The problem is. There's trolling for surface level things. If you're trolling me for my makeup or you're trolling me for uh, uh, whatever, that's fine. You can troll me for those things. But my problem comes in when you, when people troll you um, personally, when they start attacking your character, when they start attacking who you are, your dignity, your family, your whatever, that's when I take high offense to it my friends anyone who is connected to me which is something that happened to me a couple of weeks ago where somebody just hit me up and pretending to be friendly and like me and whatever and blah 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 and coming to me as if you know they're trying to advise me on something and i could already tell that i went you're coming with a story and then this person mentioned people in my life and this and that and the other and blah 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 but Tables quickly turned when my attitude towards the whole thing became very, very sour. Because at this point, I was just like, uh, okay, lady, because I don't know who you are, actually. In fact, I even think I was talking to a girl. They came with this innocent, I'm alerting you to what's going on in your life, blah, blah, blah. I'm coming to you. <laughs> and then what? The tables ended up turning when I realized that, okay, now this person is trying to attack me saying that you know saying things like oh you're so stupid you so whatever whatever blah 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 and i'm just like i can't win with you i can't even have a decent conversation with you you're an egg i would respect you more if you came to me and disclosed who you are and we had a decent woman to woman oh well no i wasn't really having a conversation with a woman that was a girl that was a girl. That was somebody who I think probably follows Beyonce because she was busy quoting Beyonce and I'm just like <laughs> We all love Beyonce, but really? <laughs> so, in any case, you know, this person tried their luck and tried to do whatever, and I was just like, okay, congratulations, well done for you for achieving something in which you thought that you would make me upset and whatever. Not much has pretty much changed, you know? But the problem is when it comes to trolls, trolls forget that influencers and people who are on YouTube and social media, we're people as well. So for me, you can attack the materialistic things. I don't care. Like, I really don't care. 
each to their own. But if you attack personal, my character, my family, my friends, anyone who is uh, 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 connected to me, this is where I have a serious, serious, serious problem with you or whoever you are, you know? They do this with an intent to break you down. And whoever is new to YouTube, the only advice that I can give you is be aware that this is something that might happen. Be aware that this is something might, that might happen, but it should never detract you from your purpose. It should never detract you from doing what you have been wanting to do on YouTube, okay? We forget that when people watch our channel and watch our social media, they watch our Instagram snaps and whatever, we forget that some people are just, ooh, this smells nice. What did I wash this with? Uh, we forget that some people are watching because they really love you and they love your content, but some people, other people, are watching because they want the negative. So they're going to watch your video, but they're going to watch the background. They're going to watch your eyes, your face, your teeth. They're going to watch everything because they want to dissect and get whatever it is that they can get so that they can bring you down emotionally. A lot of the time, it's bringing you down emotionally. And people are vicious. They're vicious. And I feel like if you do not have a thick skin in this here industry, you're doomed. You're doomed. Initially, it's going to hurt. It's always going to hurt, okay? I feel like I'm so washed out, but it's fine. Once the powder comes on. Initially, it's going to hurt and... Sadly, there's nothing really that you can do about it because you can't control You can't control people who are wow. I'm so washed out. You can't control people who Who just want to talk shit. You really can't control people like that So the only thing you can do is just keep it moving. The thing is they forget that We can take it up. We can find out who you are. You can be as I'm a call scent. You can be as trigger happy as you want. But then the thing is, we can find out. We can find out if you want to find out Uguti, who you are. It's a lengthy process, it's subpoenas, it's 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 IP addresses, but we can find out if we wanted to. And I think people people forget that this is this is actually a thing that can happen. We can find out. You know, they just have this thing, Uguti. You don't know who I am. When I got a ondini, so you'll never find out. No, I will. I will. If you hit the right nerve, I will find out who you are. Okay. And I did. <laughs> I will find out who you are. Nothing yeah. beats ignoring. Ignore the masses. Ignore the people that are complaining about you and saying all the you know rubbish things and blah blah blah. Ignore them. Ignore them because there's no sense in you. You know, it hurts. It hurts. It really, really does hurt. Take it with a pinch of salt. Prepare yourself. Social media is vicious. There will be people who are going to piss you off. There will be people who are going to say terrible things to you. It's gonna hurt. You're not the only one who's been through this. We all go through it. It hurts like hell to have people that don't know you talk shit about you. But, in life. Life, if I know this. Social media gets really, really dangerous when people step up to you and attack your personal character, they attack your family, they attack your friends. It was just useless. It was a futile exercise that that person tried to do and I was just like, okay, and then what? Rosale, and then what? Once you have done that, the problem is once you have done that as a social media troll, and then what? What have, have you achieved your purpose when you, when you see somebody, you, what, hurting and breaking? What kind of person are you? Why? But if you are, uh, 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 <laughs> if you are starting out with social media and, you know, you start to get comments like that, just take it with a pinch of salt. We all get them. We all get them. And... Always tell yourself, like, I can't argue with somebody I don't know. I can't argue with somebody who just doesn't even have the decency in themselves to expose themselves and say that, look, 
I'm this kind of person. Like if for me, if you can't do that, then you're wasting my time and yours. This is what it is, you know. And social media trolls forget that this this is we. As much as you're going to say whatever you want to say, we're going to continue. We're going to continue being on YouTube. We're going to continue doing this and that. We're going to continue, you know. So it's just like, mm, whose time did you really waste? Sus. But be careful about some of the things that you say. Sometimes even constructive criticism can come across as very hurtful if you're not saying it the right way. And uh, please don't say something like, you know, I really love you, but you know, um, your eyelashes and whatever, whatever are so and so and so and so and so. But I'm really, really sorry. Then, uh, uh don't then. And what was the purpose of what you just did and said? What was the purpose? And if you are someone who follows your favorite YouTuber and whatever, and there's something you want to say, say it. But don't forget that, yeah, we are people as well. And I can give you a proper clap back if I wanted to. If I wanted to. But sometimes I want to say, I'm a lady, man. I'm a lady. Hi, hello, hi. Yeah, hi, hi, hello, hi. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a whole entire mess. But I'm back. I hope you guys like this look. I created this one with Juvia's Parlays. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Ugh, the Juvia's eyeshadows are stunning. It's like some of us, I get affected, I listen to what you're saying, but I'm not bothered by it. I'm not uh, bothered by somebody who's going to come and have an opinion on my life, but doesn't even have the decency to even show themselves. So uh, they would never even really say it to my face. If I was standing in front of them, they would never really say it to my face. So to all the new YouTubers, uh, all the new people that I'm following, that I'm really, 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 really loving, um, uh, you know, the small YouTubers, I know the big YouTubers know the stuff, like, you know, uh, celebrities, YouTubers, everybody, like, if you're in the public eye, somehow, some way, somehow, this is bound to happen, and honestly, take it with a pinch of salt, if you're going to start something like, um, my nose is watering, oh my god, if you're going to start something like YouTube and whatever, Things like this are bound to happen. They're going to happen and it's, it's, you can't let something like this affect you. And as someone who watches YouTubers, if you have nothing nice to say, be a silent troll. Like, um, for me, I believe they're silent trolls and they're loud trolls. Okay, so be that silent troll who's going to dislike my video. That's fine. Just like it now. It's fine. If you feel like I was talking shit, and then what? Um, you can dislike it, it's fine, but it's not going to stop me from doing what I love to do, and this is social media. A lot of the time, uh, the people who comment in my videos actually come with a lot of constructive criticism, which is nice to see and nice to witness, and um, yeah, it's never really anything terrible to that degree. So anyway, I'm going to go. This video is so long. It's probably going to be 30 minutes long. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it nevertheless. And I'll see you in the next one.